Hi everyone, it's um, Saturday, just want to do a quick video, and if you hear the little girl in the background meowing, that's my little baby girly, she decided to show up, but I don't think she'll jump, I don't think she'll jump on the table to make an appearance. Anyway, this is a, um, an altered frame that I did for my cub brother, RJ, um, in the group that we're in, just a few friends. Um, and of course, our our den mama is Elsa. Anyway, this month's um, swap was um, my choice. So I got to choose what we were going to do. And I thought doing an altered frame would be kind of fun. So, and uh, the person I'm giving to is RJ. So, you know, I looked at his profile to see what his likes and his dislikes were, and he didn't like frills or flowers or glitter, so this was definitely a challenge. So, in my last video, I showed the frame that my girlfriend Jenny made for me, um, which was very frilly and girly and um, shabby chic. But this is, and I said I was going to jack her project, so this was what I came up with. Um, I used one of those plain wooden frames. Um, this one, at least luckily for me, there wasn't any glass in it. So it was really easy to um, alter. I used a Tim Holtz paper line. I can't remember what it was, but I'll put the information in the description box below. Um, I used some letters here that were from Pink Paisley. Um, I'm so... Um, not prepared right now with all the information so I'll put as much as I can in the description box um, and what I did was I just um, used some of Tim Holtz rock candy uh, crackle paint and I inked everything with um, gathered twigs the distress ink I used some buttons here with some um, twine and I put a little dangling key here. Um, this here is actually um, a Tim Holtz embossing folder. I embossed some craft paper and then I inked it up and I put some embossing powder on it and I heat embossed it. And just for a little color because he said he liked blue and purple. I have a little blue bling here and one up here with the heart um, lock. There's a little blue gem right here. You can't really see it. Oh, this is so bad. Um, and then I have a little clock face up here, a little pocket watch with some dangles. Um, he said that he liked charms, so I put a couple of butterfly charms here. And then another key here. And um, this is chicken wire back here. And instead of it being a picture frame, it's a memo holder. And these are the mini um, clothespins that I used. And I use these little mini letters and they spell out smile. Let's see if you can see that there. Um, so anyway, RJ, I missed the mailing deadline today. So I'm going to be sending this out to you on Monday. So be on the lookout for it and I hope you like it. I wasn't, this is really a challenge for me. This is the first time I've done something really, um, uh, I don't think this is really grunge. I think this is more, um, whatever the Tim Holt style is, distressy and tried to do it vintagey and but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. This was definitely a challenge. So anyway, I hope you like it and I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend so far. Have a good day tomorrow and thanks for watching. Bye.